Williams. First snap from scrimmage. Ellinger sets up the screen, and it is Ingram who's got some running room along the left side, and he'll pick up the first down and get things started for the Horns. It's a great matchup for Texas. And now the first third down of the night, third and two, and Ingram makes his second catch, and it just a tremendous open field tackle by Grant Delpit, the All-American. On a little tempo here. Al Burrow takes a shot way down the field to the right side. Hey, he's got his man. It's Terrace Marshall. Well, Marshall's the receiver that LSU fans have been waiting and waiting for him to come on. This could use one here. Through a kind of pressure, Orlando dials up. They get some heat, and Edward Delaire can't hold it. B.J. Foster was right there. McCulloch and the Texas defense stiffens. Back in his home state, and York has the first points of the night for Coach O and LSU. For a first down. Another look to keep LSU honest. Ellinger going up top, and they're going right after, right after Cordell Flott, who replaced Fulton, and Brennan Eagles has it. Yeah, they went after the freshman, Scott. We just kept talking about safeties on the hash to protect. This time, they're not able to do that. Flott is there, but because of the long arms and the ability to adjust back, Eagles makes a great play on the football. Ellinger, it's like he wants to throw it, and now he'll just throw it out of the back of the end zone. Applying the pressure was Chase on. So, tight ends, Ingram in the backfield, fourth and goal. Ellinger to a wide open result, oh, and he dropped it. They had the right play drawn up, and Keontae Ingram couldn't haul it in. LSU's two for three on third down so far. Burrow has it tapped and intercepted. Joseph Osai has it, and Texas is set up right back on the doorstep. That's a great effort up front by Texas in the defensive line to knock it loose. Watch 23 right there. Ball goes up in the air. And the eyes are on the football. Osai makes the play and almost takes it into the end zone. So Community of the first quarter. Ellinger going right, being chased. Not much room, and LSU stops him again. It was Queen and Glenn Logan. Yeah, it, but you also have to see before you get to Queen, you got to look at this defensive line. You talked about Logan. Watch the push through here. It allows these guys to scrape with their speed. 97, Reese, you touched, uh, talked, uh, talked about there. Logan, he does a good job of pushing it. Burrow ducks under the first man on the pressure, but not the second as B.J. Foster gets him down. Burrow steps away from the pressure. He's got plenty of room to pick up the first down and more. And Joe, who's not much of a fan of sliding, will get out to the 35. Call that could maybe work against that coverage. Option look, the pitch to Leonard Fournette. And Fournette is knocked down in the backfield. Jeffrey McCulloch, who's been active early. But McCulloch has been all over the place. We talk about the speed of this defense. Watch them move at that second level. Watch how quickly they're able to get off blocks. Barely got the play off. Fournette. Carries it and gets up across the 35. And that'll just give him a little bit more room to punt. Here on first and second down. Chase on turns the corner, can't get there, and Eagles catches it and keeps his feet. Brandon Eagles into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. And that is Texas' first 50-plus yard play from scrimmage since 2017. These corners, even though they're talented, Fulton took a chance, a gamble. He tried to undercut it to make a play on the football, and he underestimated where that football was thrown. It got over top of him, an easy catch for Eagles, walks into the end zone for the Horns. The dummy calls on the sideline. Burrow down the middle, complete for a first down, is Justin Jefferson on the grab out just across this 45-yard line. Tempo-based offense. 
Burrow leaves it inside, and Edwards Alaire pops out of the crowd, glides inside the 30, and down close to the 25-yard line, and the Bayou Bengals have something brewing. Burrow finds Jefferson again, second time on this drive, another first down, and LSU has first and goal. Burrow fires, and it's caught by Justin Jefferson for the touchdown. How fitting. Twice, watch the linebackers, unaware of what's behind them. Unaware, see that big hole? Third time on this drive, they didn't, they've been able to locate between the linebackers and the safeties. There's a good look at Burrow's eyes, does what he needs to do, knows he's eventually coming back. He was trying to move seven just enough. So the penalty gives the horns a first down. Ellinger stands in, fires into the seam in the middle, and he has Duvernay for another Texas first down. Now the offenses are cranking up. Jumps, no contact. Ellinger standing in. Really good job by Cosmio and Caleb on chase on, but Ellinger took way too long, and he'll be stopped. Jacoby Stevens coming in there. They're a big load out of Baton Rouge. He picks up. The pass rush and the pass is complete to Jamar Chase for the first down. Receivers picked up 13 and Joe goes right back to work into the middle and he's got Marshall. Terrace Marshall is into Texas territory and the Tigers are finding their rhythm. Uh, a different mindset. Jones bringing the heat from the outside. Now Burrow's going to throw it to an open chase and Jamar Chase has it. A first down inside the 25. Burrow, sacked. Great pressure from Joseph Asai, who had an interception earlier, and now he's got a sack. For LSU, trying to put the Bayou Bengals up by six. And York is true for the second time tonight. He has, they don't get a first down here. LSU might get it one more time with some time. Pressure on Ellinger, and down he goes. It's Caleb on chase on. Well, you, you think of Chase on, you think of him coming from the outside with his speed. But here he lines up, you think about this, but instead it's a stunt back to the inside. And nobody's able to account because of that call by Aranda. Nobody's able to account for one of the best pass rushers in the SEC. They slid towards him, anticipating that outside speed rush, but it's right now that's gaining some confidence. Joe's hit 10 of his last 12 passes. And make it 11 of 13. How about Jamar Chase? See, in this offense, that's not a problem. He's accurate again. Jefferson trying to get away from the tackle, and he's just outside the 20. Time. Pick up of 18. Burrow right back at it. Into the end zone. And Jefferson is there. And Burrow with the quick strike. And LSU trying to put this thing in a hammerlock just before the half. Watch him hitch, step, throw exactly where he wanted that ball to be. And Divinity is back in the game, and he drops into coverage. Ellinger firing to the outside, and it's a first down. Texas and first catch of the night for Colin Johnson. And Ellinger. Touchdown, Texas. Burrow taking a shot, Chase is out there, and Jamar Chase goes up, and it looks like somebody just got mossed. It was Jalen Green. Them in the middle of the field, so Burrow, little stutter and go by Chase. It's a matchup he's been winning all night against the young Jalen Green. He gets by him. Pick up for Chase. Burrow down the middle, and another completion. Terrace Marshall with this one, first down by you, Bengal. Out in the flat, and Allaire gets drilled as he can't catch it. It'll be fourth down. It's Brown again with the hit. Boy, how about this? This defense, watch him line up against the back. He knows he's going. He's going to go out with him, even if he makes that catch. Clutch. One of the nation's top kicking prospects shows why. The math, they started on their own 14. It was a...
clutch big drive. Ellinger going to try to get it a little quicker this time. And he goes down the middle, and Johnson has his second catch of the night. Seen that here tonight. Ellinger, Sam, into LSU territory inside the 40 and chased out of bounds at the 35. It'll be first and 10 for the Horns. Side. Duvernay. Devin Duvernay. Duvernay down to the 20. Down the middle. It's in there and caught for a touchdown. It's Jake Smith, the freshman. To the right, trying to get to the outside. He picks him up, comes out here. But you're going to get two vertical receivers down the right side. Watch who they pick on. Trying to find out what this safety wants to do. Is he going to stay wide or is he going to come to the inside to take away Smith? He gives him just enough room to pull it, the trigger to the inside of the true freshman. The eyes to move the safety, comes back, throws it on a line, and the body of Smith protects the ball from Harris being able to get around him to it. What concentration by the true freshman. Jamar Chase for the first down. And the pop into Jefferson, and Jefferson has the first down inside the 30 and down to the 26. Joe Burrow into the end zone. Touchdown, LSU. Terrace Marshall. Keep saying it. Can take it anytime they want against the corners. Ellinger right on the money. It's Duvernay again with his seventh catch of the evening. And he picks up the Texas first down. Uh, play clock getting down. Ellinger slant. Duvernay first down and touchdown. Took a hit, completed the pass to Jamar Chase. First down, LSU. Bringing him. Burrow down the middle, and Thaddeus Moss makes the catch. That was a tremendous grab of an off-target throw. Eyes, he looks off the safety, knowing he's going to come back and hit Moss over the middle. Burrow taking a shot, looking for Chase, and it's out of bounds. Penalty, and now LSU is driving again. Burrow to the outside and going down to the end and uh, the catch by Terrace Marsh. Back to the ground. Edwards Alaire has control of the corner and control of the end zone. LSU back in the house. Ellinger buys a little time and he finds his man Colin Johnson for the first down. That was a huge, huge throwing catch for the Horn. Goes to the top of your screen, it's outside the 40. Here's Ellinger. A lot of room for Sam to run if he wants to. Ellinger across the 40, and he takes a big hit. So they're trying to take their shots when they can. They converted a third and long last time by getting 19, and they've converted it again. It's Duvernay making the grab. Oh, Ellinger can't afford the sack, but he took it, and guess who's there? The man who said this is when your defensive legacy is made. Right here and then right here to the middle. The back Johnson can only pick up one of them, Jacob Phillips. So it frees up Divinity. And I think Sam Ellinger expected to. Quarterback draw. Ellinger trying to get a chunk of it back. So fourth down will be more manageable. And he does. I think they're going to have about nine to go for the first down. On the way, one possession game. <laughs> Parker, LSU's at 500. Look at Burrow, Look at complete. The Terrace Marshall ball came out. Right yeah. now, line judge coming in and pointing right down. Now. The ruling on the field is a catch by the receiver and then tackled down by contact prior to the ball becoming loose. Uh oh trying to go fast he's he's forcing these officials upstairs to take a look see if that ball came out 
Uh, it looked like the back of his arm touched the ground and then the ball came out, which would mean he's down. They're throwing the ball downfield. Here comes Heath. Burrow getting pressure and Burrow sacked. Brandon Jones, the secondary leader, came out the corner. Now it's third and long. at LSU. You know, even me up here, I'm thinking, you got the lead, run the ball, make them use that last time out, but this is, dude, this is 2019 LSU. This is Joe Burrow. Forget that. We're here to win. We're here to play for championships, and wait until you see him maneuver and work his way around that pocket and make that throw. The linebackers are coming. They're trying to bring the pressure here and here. Watch Joe Burrow work his way, navigate his way, and throw it right in the face of another blitzing safety, Chris Brown. And then there's Justin Jefferson doing what he does after the 6 0. And LSU against top 10 teams, not in Alabama. Ellinger gets the first down and keeps a little bit of hope alive for the Horns. Again, no. Texas has had chances tonight that come close and they're still hanging around and trying to make one more big play and Ellinger makes another one yeah. and it's Brandon Eagles. Hey look, there's still just over a minute to go to get a quick. So if you're going to give up a quick touchdown, you might as well do what Todd Harris did. Into the end zone and a quick touchdown is there and it is Duvernay and Texas. Maybe just the slightest of hope, but there's still breath. They'll get it to seven-point game with the extra point and then a uh, chance for the onside kick. And heck of a throw over the linebackers and between the safeties. That's the weakness of that coverage with the two high safety look. Cover two, tries to move that safety and then throws an absolute rope to do. The big hop, it's loose, it's loose in Texas if they controlled it. They controlled it before it went out of bounds, and now it looks like LSU. But Colin Johnson oh my goodness. went airborne to come up with it, and just, I don't think he was able to hold on to the football. Boy, oh boy. And that's the guy, That's if there's a guy you want to try to extend to catch it, it's Colin Johnson. Never had possession of the football. A few got blocked along the sideline. He was, what a shot he had at, oh my goodness. Takes a perfect bounce, goes somehow just right through all the LSU players, but he never yeah, seen the ball on the ground. Control. Never yeah. had it. The ruling on the field is that the first and only touch of the ball was by the kickers legally after the ball went 10 yards. However, he failed to secure it before it going out of bounds. 